Happy Wednesday. How you doing? Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. For all of you Gracie fans out there, Gracie is still sleeping. She hasn't gotten up yet. Because I'm doing this a little bit early. So Gracie and Mama are still sleeping. Everybody in the house is still sleeping. My whole entourage is sleeping. Of course, they won't get up and they, they won't go to work until they can punch a the clock. They, they uh, read someplace where you're not supposed to work off the clock. So they, now they want time cards. So I have to get my entourage time cards. Meanwhile, I have to fix myself up. How do I look? I look good? You look good. I can see you. How many of you know I know what some of you people look like? And the ones that I know about, the ones I have seen your pictures, you look good. I mean to tell you, you are good looking people. Send me your pictures. I'll put them up. We're going to put up a board with all of our partners on it. So if you would like your picture up on that wall, and then I can just kind of pray over them and bless them every day. Amen. Glory to God. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely good looking and getting better looking every day. Everything works out for me. God will provide everything. Amen. I want to talk to you today about supernatural finances. How many of you know that finances are a very important part of the kingdom? God loves beautiful things. God is very materialistic. Huh? God is very materialistic. Streets of gold, hello. Very materialistic. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Tell everybody you know about these videos because there's nobody out there right now is teaching on this level. Nobody is teaching on this level. Nobody is teaching about supernatural finances. Nobody is teaching about breaking curses the way I do. Amen. God gives us incredible revelation. And every time I get revelation from God, I share it with people. On Monday, I shared a huge revelation. I mean, right on the air. Right on the air. I don't know if some of you heard it or, or saw it, but I talked about it again yesterday. And that is, once you say, God will provide your finances move into the supernatural realm. Super, they, everything becomes supernatural. Everything becomes spiritual. Amen. There are spiritual transactions between man and between people and God. Everything, every, when God gives things to you, these are, these are spiritual transactions. And they can be very material. Amen. Glory to God. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. 1,250 videos out there for you. Amen. It's all free. Get these books. You want to talk about spiritual finances, supernatural finances. I'm going to show you how to get there. How, how that our finances are, are in the supernatural and in the spiritual realm. We're going to talk about that today. Because I want, everything starts in the spiritual realm. Also, when you do your offerings and donations today, call me because I want to speak the blessing over you. I'm telling you what, speaking the blessing over you moves your whole life into the spiritual realm. Everything starts in the spiritual realm. Jacob's life started in the spiritual realm with the blessing and he became a billionaire. So did Isaac. So did Joseph. Amen. So did David and Solomon. All of them. It all started in the spiritual realm. Amen. In the spiritual realm. Hey, I want to show you some things 
uh, in the spiritual realm that moves your finances into the supernatural. And I want to start you on Deuteronomy 8.18. Deuteronomy 8.18. God is talking to uh, the Israelites before they go into the promised land. They're getting ready to, getting ready to go into the promised land now. And uh, God is, the, the Deuteronomy, the chapter of Deuteronomy is what I call the preparation chapter. This is when God is getting his people ready. Now, let me tell you something. God is getting his people ready again. What is going, what is going to happen and what's coming up, I don't know. But I believe that God is getting his people ready and is using people like me to help do it. Amen. And he's using people like you. He's using us to get everybody ready for this, for, for what is coming. And folks, don't ask me what's coming because I don't know. If God tells me, I will share it with you. But so far, he has not told me. Amen. But God has prophets. He'll tell somebody. Believe me, there are things going on right now in a spiritual realm in this country and in this world like we have never seen before. And what it's going to lead to, I'm not sure. But a lot of people have got a lot of ideas. Amen. I hear this stuff all the time. Well, Pastor Jim, you know, you know, and, and I mean, we just had somebody just, just, you wouldn't believe what some people were saying to me. Right to my face, one of them. Said, well, if you don't believe me, Pastor Jim, there's nothing I can do to help you. Well, you know what? Until God tells me, I'm not going to do crazy things. I'm not making major changes in my life and in the life of my church unless God speaks to me. Just because somebody else sees something in the Bible doesn't mean I'm going to change my life. Be careful who you're listening to, folks. Be careful when somebody tells you they know what's going to happen. Because nobody does. Unless God speaks to us. Amen. And then God will start speaking to his people. I don't believe he'll just speak to one person. We will know what's going on. Deuteronomy 8.18. 8, here is, is, is where it starts. But thou shall remember the Lord thy God. He's telling Israel right now. He says, you're wealthy, but don't forget me. He says, but thou shall remember the Lord thy God. For it is he who gives the power to get wealth. God gives us power to get wealth. This ability to accumulate wealth is a power. It's a force. <clears throat> it is something that comes upon you and allows you to accumulate wealth. It's the blessing. It's the blessing. And it moves everything into the supernatural realm, folks. Into the spiritual realm. Where God starts to God starts to control your finances. And believe me, when God's in control of your finances, they do nothing but go up. But we got to get to that point. We got to move our finances into the supernatural realm. And God says, But thou shall remember the Lord thy God. For it is he who gives the power to get wealth, that he may continue or establish his covenant. God's covenant, I'm telling you, will go on for eternity. God's covenant will never end. He made that promise. He promised it by himself. He promised it on himself. He swore to himself because he could swear to nobody higher. You know, when you swear to something, you swear to something higher than yourself. God could swear to nothing higher than himself. So he swore to himself this covenant that he made with Abraham, this promise, this blessing. I'm telling you what, folks, if you had any idea of the enormity of this blessing, the enormity of this, it's just how incredibly high this is. What God thinks of this, and along with this blessing, is a covenant of wealth. There's a covenant of wealth. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he who gives thee power 
to get wealth. And that moves your finances into the supernatural realm. All you have to do is just receive it. Just accept it. Say yes. Yes. Get the curse out. Break the curse of, get the curse of the law out. And this, this blessing comes in, brings the covenant of wealth with it, destroys your debt. The blessing is the debt destroyer. And it destroys everything bad in your life. I had somebody call me last night, bless your heart, I'm telling you what, and everything has changed in their life. Everything has changed in their life, including their health. Well, not long ago, I broke the curse of the law in their life and spoke the blessing over them. And here they call me and they say, oh, Pastor Jim, everything has changed. I say, praise God. That's the way it's supposed to work. That's the way it does work. Money in the bank. She has money in the bank. And you know who you are because I know you're watching this video. And I told everybody last night I would tell people about it. I just don't won't use her name. She's got money in the bank. You want to know how much? 4,000 bucks. And she, and she was broke. Her family was broke. Her husband was broke. She was broke. And now everything has turned around. You want to know how? Because everything moved into the supernatural realm. She now is dealing with supernatural finances. I'm telling you what, folks, I have heard that story a thousand times. I praise God for her. And I praise God for her story and for her testimony. But I have heard it a thousand times. It happens so often. Uh, the only thing I got to say about that is, who's next? Who's next? Believe me, I, I told her, you know what I said to her? Four words I had for her. I had four words for her. I told you so. I told her. And it happened. I can say that. Because God's word works. I brag about God's word, folks. I make no apologies for it. I brag about God. And I brag about his works. And I brag about his goodness. We have a wonderful God. A God who loves us. A God who is good to us. And a God who is faithful to his word. Sarah judged God faithful to what he had said. And she, at the age of 90, had a baby because God said so. Glory to God. God gives us power to get wealth. God will increase you more and more, you and your children, because God said so. Now you judge God faithful to that word and watch what happens. Watch what happens. You will increase. You will live in abundance, a happy, stress-free, worry-free life. This woman right now told me yesterday, the stress is gone. Yes, I'll tell you what gets rid of stress, money. You get your bills paid and have some money left over and you won't have any stress in your life either. Glory to God. Was that good? Please share this video with everybody you know. This is incredible, incredible stuff, folks. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. When you do your offerings and donations today, call me. Become a partner with this ministry and you will have access to the minister. I believe if you partner with the ministry, you should have access to the minister. Our partners do. I'm out of time. I am determined you will live a curse-free, blessed life. And I will make it happen for you.